Well, 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 here we are. Another day, another lesson. Here's with a quick snippet about the human body, learning a little bit of physiology. And uh, when we speak about the nervous system, particularly the central nervous system, there's two parts to it. There is the parasympathetic and the sympathetic. One quick way to remember which one does what is P for the parasympathetic is for peace. So remember, parasympathetic rest and digest in peace, while sympathetic is for fight or flight or taking action. Now here's for a fun fact. What are six organs or effector points by which the sympathetic nervous system works on but the parasympathetic does not even play with. What I mean by that is if sympathetic activates a muscle when you're afraid or scared or willing to fight or flight and the parasympathetic reduces that, in these specific six organs or six parts and regions, and you can pause and try to guess who they are or list them uh, in the comments, then sympathetic will work on it to excite it, but the parasympathetic will do nothing. First one the dilator pupillae, which allows you to be able to see what's far. In time of attack, you can know what is that thing right there and you're able to get more vision into it. Second one is gonna be the ventricles. The ventricles of the heart, believe it or not, when you're at a moment of attack or a moment of fear, they increase the ionotropic and chronotropic terms. Don't worry about them right now, but they increase what? The cardiac rate and the force by which it contracts while on the other side of things the um, parasympathetic only works on the atria the skin of course with regards to attack or movements or any of these things you ought to sweat you ought to cool off the system and that only works via the sympathetic the parasympathetic on the other hand does not get rid of sweat exocrine glands adrenal medulla Adrenal medulla is where the cortisol, where the norepinephrine takes place. And as such, it's only impacted by the, what? Sympathetic nervous system again. And down to the last two, the spleen and the uh, skeletal muscle blood vessels. So if you want to list them again, the dilator pupillae, the skin, number two, the ventricles, the adrenal medulla, the spleen, and the skeletal muscle blood vessels. And those are the ones that are impacted by the sympathetic nervous system and not the parasympathetic. Thank you for tuning in to another Take a Bite episode. Stay tuned. I hope you got all of them. And if not, share in the comments what you hope to see in the next episode. Till then, stay awesome.